Does Micro Four Thirds have a future? And is Olympus closing down its camera business? Hi there, I'm Peter Forsgaard, an Olympus visionary and a professional photographer from Helsinki, Finland. And before we start talk about the future of Micro Four Thirds and about Olympus closing down, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that bell. My channel is all about you getting to be a better photographer and of course about Olympus gear. But let's start to talk about the future of Micro Four Thirds and Olympus closing down. Before we get into the rumor that Olympus is closing down its camera business in eight months. Let's talk about the camera business in general. There was a time when camera sales were really, really high. That was in 2010. Actually, that was the midpoint of 2012, but it's about four to five years that camera sales were really, really high. Almost five times the amount of cameras were sold. That was the time in 2008 till 2012 when the cameras started to become available for consumers. And that was also a time when uh, mobile phone cameras went really that good at the time. So photography was one of the biggest hobbies, at least here in Finland. I think it still is. That was the time when every teenage girl needed to have a DSLR camera. But then there were two things happened. First was that the cameras in mobile phones got a lot, lot better. But that wasn't the main thing. The main thing was that that was the time when social media and image sharing became the thing. And it still is. And that was the time when the foundation of uh, camera selling going down was established by the camera companies themselves. They did not understand the change in uh, photography and the usage of photog photographs. It's always hard for a Finn to say these thing, correct words. But anyway, you understand the image sharing, as I said. And that is something that the camera business did not understand. Because I remember talking to some of the camera company representatives in 2010, 2012, when their image sharing started to be a really, really big thing. They said that it's, go, it's gonna go over. The main thing is the image quality. And that was the biggest mistake the camera companies made at that time. And after that, after 2012, it's been declined in camera sales. And of course, that means that uh, every time there is new numbers coming up, there are these rumors, there are these facts about that who's closing down, who's not. Olympus is a medical company. It has a huge share in different kinds of medical cameras that go inside you. That is their core business. And now I come into the point that why Olympus is not going to close down their camera business is because the camera business R&D is crucial. It's one of the core things when they do the medical cameras. They work closely together. I just visited the Portugal service facility and it came really clear there that they are working really, really close in the R&D things, even though it wasn't R&D, but that, that was an issue that was addressed there when we talked about, when, or I talked about with the, with the personnel in the, in the service facility. And that's the main reason that I don't think that Olympus is going to close down the camera business. And if we look at the sales numbers from this year or the, the couple of years, Olympus has not sold huge or vast amount of cameras in recent two years. And the reason is that there hasn't not been very many big, big announcements or big new cameras. Of course, EM1X was a big, big thing for Olympus. And it actually attracted a whole new segment of photographers, sports photographers and wildlife photographers for two reasons. At least here in Finland, there are lots and lots of people who are uh, photographing birds and wildlife are using Olympus gear because of the size. And everybody's saying that uh, EM1X is a big bulky camera, but it's not. Of course, if you compare it to the new EM5 Mark III, it is a big camera. But remember, the EM1X should be compared to the big uh, one series cameras from Canon. And then I think it's, uh, is it uh, D4 or whatever, D5 or whatever the newest Nikon is, DSLRs. And those are huge and heavy. The wildlife photographers are wanting a smaller 
system for for travel and for easy to carry in the, in the, in somewhere in the woods and, and wherever they do that photography and uh, that's a big thing and you can get images that you would not get with the big bulky cameras why i chose it 2014 because i saw two for two things it was uh it's about the mirrorless uh, thing which is future and it's about the the compromise in size and image quality you know and it, of course it's an image quality compromise but I can get images and I can use more or I have been using my camera more than I did when I had the big bulky DSLRs and uh, and of course that uh, back then I also did a lot of studio I had a studio where I did portraits and stuff like that when I that and, and on that place the 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 big cameras were a lot a lot more convenient or better but now that i do a totally different thing i think micro 430 is the thing and i'm not the only one and then when we come to let's when i said about panasonic they are with the micro four thirds which which i think is one of the you know the best systems right now but they also have the full frame thing for those who really need it and uh, when panasonic announced that they're you know joining the i think it is, is the l mount um consortium with Leica and uh, Sigma they said that uh, they will keep up with the micro four thirds cameras and and they have and just now I don't know if it's, it's I hope it's public because I've heard that there will be a major firmware updates for certain Panasonic cameras and that tells me that they are still taking care of the micro four thirds world and there are rumors about GH6 which is one of their um, top line video video centric uh, mirrorless cameras and uh, all that tells me that the system is live and well even though the camera sales has gone down but remember every company is struggling with the same thing it's not only olympus only panasonic or only canon whatever they are all struggling and that's because the amount of cameras that was sold as i said about 10 years ago or seven seven to ten years ago was massive amounts of cameras the amount of cameras that is sold today is about the same than before the big boom in 2010 10 ish around there for plus and minus two years so we are now back in the normal uh, amount of camera sales so it's only the camera companies to adapt uh, or to adapt to the new system because they were profitable before the digital era started or the boom was the Olympus closing down in eight months, which is uh, a, a rumor which has no facts backing it up. It's just a rumor because somebody was looking at the, the camera sales and thought that, all right, okay, they're selling less cameras than they did a year ago or two years ago, so they're going down. But they're not. The official statement from Olympus says, and I already said this once in this video, but I want to address it again, is that the camera business is a crucial part of the medical cameras uh, R&D and that's why they're not closing it down vice versa I think they are going to be even better and the Olympus cameras will even or even have a bigger market share in the future because they have some unique features in the cameras that no other brand has and there is also a, a long legacy of being the first feature in an Olympus camera and so they have very creative R&D it's been going on for for hundred years like Olympus company they've always had something special and something new there was of course there was a time when digital era came and then the last DSLRs were were um, the, the big thing then Olympus did not have that good of a lineup of cameras but when they decided to concentrate on the micro four thirds they've done really good on that and I think they will continue doing great with that and a disclaimer I did not make this video because Olympus uh, asked me to do this I wanted to do this because the rumor just keeps getting bigger and bigger and and lots of uh, people in the camera business are talking about it and thinking that okay a rumor is a fact of course rumors sometimes can be correct but I can assure you this rumor is not Olympus is getting better every day and we will see some exciting things next year which i'm still hush hush and next you might want to watch these videos about the depth of field and then the history of olympus when Olymp i made this video when olympus turned 100 years there are 100 facts about olympus and all the great features they've have 
invented for for us to enjoy the photography but hey thanks for watching and bye for now